Rebin Concerning the terrorists, we definitely eliminated 36 terrorists and captured seven. The capturing of seven terrorists is very important as we are getting important information from them. Arms were discovered in Bengodani. First, one truck was discovered and seized by police and army in Libidia zone. There were a lot of arms including heavy arms. Besides, three arms caches were also discovered. ISIL fighters attempt to seize a Tunisian military barrack on the border with Libya. The attack failed, but dozens of armed fighters made their way to the border town of Bingardan, leaving behind several dead among civilians and security forces. In the morning, the fighting moved to the city center. Schools and businesses were shut, and security forces closed all the city exits and started hunting down the attackers, killing more than 20 ISIL fighters and arresting six. In Tunis, people are terrified but resilient. Tunisians should not be afraid. We saw how civilians and residents of Ben Gordon were helping the army and the police. Nothing will happen in Tunisia. It may happen in other places, but not here. Tunisia will always be a model for other countries. It is last week's American airstrike on an ISIL camp of mainly Tunisian fighters in the Libyan city of Sebrata that pushed the group to try to enter Tunisia. This attack is the first of its kind in a Tunisian town. It involves a significant number of ISIL fighters. Security forces say the operation is over and the town is under control now. But the situation remains fragile. Reinforcements were sent to the border and the government announced the curfew tonight and the closure of the border with Libya. Yusuf Geji, CCTV, Tunis, Tunisia. And Yusef Gaiji now joins us live from Tunis for more on this. Yusef, Tunisia is against crumbling to protect its national security. What can you tell us about investigations into the Monday attack? Well, for the moment, uh, we know that uh, there is still a manhunt going on today in Bengardan. They are trying to find uh, members of the attackers of ISIL uh, still in town. What we know about yesterday is that the attack was launched in the very early morning. Uh, the signal was given by the call to prayer. And that's when four coordinated and planned attacks in different positions happened. One on the military barracks the second one on a police station, and two others were targeted assassinations of security forces members in their own houses. This attack was uh, conducted by people who knew the town very well, who are eventually from the town, and they had enough ammunition and uh, were prepared enough to actually destabilize the security in, uh, in Bingardan and near the border with Libya. The attack moved afterwards to the city center where there was heavy exchange of fire throughout the day. We know that there are seven people uh, from the attackers who are captured and now being interrogated and dozens of others died in this attack. Is the security threat coming from external ISIL-linked militants or home-based terror elements? Well, this is not a simple yes or no uh, question. In fact, the people are mostly Tunisians who conducted the attack. But what we know also is that many of them just came recently in the last few days from Libya. Some of them even came wounded from Libya to Bengardan. And these people were basically uh, in, for months in Libya in the town of Sabrata. And reports so far say that uh, they were chased out after the American airstrike on Sabrata. And that's when they decided to come to Tunisia. The security situation in Tunisia is very much linked to what is happening in Libya, to the weaponry that, that crosses the border with smugglers from Libya, to people going there to training camps and coming back here to Tunisia. So it's very hard to say if it's internal or external. It's more of a, a regional problem shared between the east uh, of Tunisia, southeast of Tunisia, and the west of Libya. All right. Yusuf Gage, live for us in Tunis. Thank you, sir, for joining us.